What's going on everybody back here today with a, another car related pet peeves video uh, Go back and check out our very first one that we did There's a couple of good ones and let us know what pisses you off the most about people and their cars and what they do to them We have baby speed here miss CT with the new straight teeth no more braces Yay. Okay, let's get right into this a couple of good ones right on. Oh, maybe we should say too uh, that if you didn't see that original video, we're going to talk about a few things today or demonstrate a few things today that really tick us off. Uh, people do to their cars and you just want to kind of... Okay, let's go to the store. We gotta run a few errands today. So I absolutely hate it when people use their keys in the door Hey, you got to do it, no problem. But they have this whole big mess of nonsense or just a bunch of keys. They unlock it and pull the door open with the keys still in the door. Ah, ridiculous. Why don't you just put the key in like a normal person, unlock it, pull it out, then open the door. Oh, geez. What a novel idea. It's in neutral, you freaks. You don't need to jiggle it so much. Just look, look. It's in first gear. We <laughs> want to make sure it's in neutral. Oh my God, there you go. No jiggling necessary. If you really want to make sure. Oh, it moves one time. You move it one time. Did, didn't your dad ever tell you that if you jiggle it more than twice, you're playing with it? Quit playing with it. All right, here we are. If you didn't notice, one of my other pet peeves is when you yank the hell out of that emergency brake. You don't need to do it. That's what stretches that emergency brake cable out. You just need a couple of clicks until you can feel it get stiff and engaged. You don't need to jerk that thing all the way up. Jeez, a Hey, get a picture of me in my new car. What, what, what are you <laughs> doing? Get your ass off the floor. <laughs> Kids. Kids, I have no idea what this fascination is these days <laughs> with standing on your car. Are you dumb? Are you dumb? Get off! Your head. <laughs> I seriously don't understand the fascination of standing on your car. I, I don't I've, either. <laughs> I've called someone out out on this before, and they say, "Oh, don't worry, I wiped the dirt off right away." It's not about the dirt. It's not about the dirt. And not first of all, dirt. when you wipe the dirt off, you probably just use your shirt and rub it off. Okay, that's great. Scrubbing the sand and grime into your paint. Dumb. It's about the shoes making contact with the painted surface. Do you know what that does to your paint? Do you know the effect that that has on your paint? And somebody else said, oh, I was wearing socks. I don't care if you're wearing socks. You're 150, 200 pounds standing on the hood. This is sheet metal. This is sheet metal. <laughs> Ugh, idiots. Well, thanks so much for driving me to Starbucks. Sure, no problem. That's so nice. What are you kidding? Guys, if you're ever riding with your friend and you guys get fast food, don't leave your cup here. <laughs> it's a hassle with the driver. It's inconsiderate and lazy. So guys, those are just a few things that really tick us off when it comes to people and their vehicles and other people's vehicles. In fact, I hope you like this list. I hope a couple of them resonated with you. But if you want to go ahead and leave us a comment down in the comment section below, let us know what really bothers you about people and their vehicles and some of your pet peeves. We'd appreciate it as well. Maybe we'll make another video if there's enough good ones, but I think we covered a lot of the main ones. And make sure you smash that like button and subscribe and all of that. <laughs> Turn on notifications. Thanks guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs>